Buffeted by a global pandemic and a crisis of its own making, Boeing is plunging deep into negative territory. The company has been scrambling for more than a year to get its most lucrative plane, the 737 MAX, back in the air after it was grounded following two crashes that killed 346 people. Then the coronavirus emptied planes and airports. With passenger travel down an unprecedented 95 percent, Boeing reported a loss of $641 million and now plans about 16,000 layoffs, one-tenth of its global workforce. In light of all of the shutdowns, not just here in the United States, but pretty much everywhere in the world, um, the ramifications are big. Um, For the most part, uh, the industry is not interested in taking uh, delivery of airplanes at the moment and or prepaying against contracts that we have in hand. And so as a result, there is this moment in time where everyone is sort of frozen trying to contend with the dramatic reductions. Southwest and other airlines are cutting their orders for the 737 MAX. And with fewer long-haul travelers, Boeing is cutting back on production of its massive 777 and 787 Dreamliner jets. Boeing is the United States' largest exporting manufacturer, and it's said that when Boeing sneezes, America's economy catches cold. Now, thousands of highly skilled, highly paid Boeing workers will be joining the waiters, service workers, and others who were among the first wave of coronavirus layoffs. And that will reverberate down the Boeing supply chain and throughout the U.S. economy. Boeing rival Airbus also posted a $521 million loss in what its CEO calls the gravest crisis the aerospace industry has ever known. Analysts say Boeing and Airbus will have to restructure for a new marketplace and compete with their own cheaper used planes languishing on tarmacs around the globe. They're all dressed up, they've got nowhere to go, and the reason being there isn't any traffic. Certainly across the Pacific, toast. China, bad news. Europe, not many people are planning a a trip to the lake country of of Italy right now. So it's going to be a long time they're going to have to readjust and be a smaller company. Although the global pandemic took just months to ground much of the aviation industry, analysts say it will take years to arrive at a new normal. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Chicago.